Hello guys and welcome to episode 14 of the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke and in today's episode we're going to be going to the lighthouse so let's just get started. Did I heal in the last episode? I probably did but I forgot we're going to train up Holycarp and I didn't bring my headphones because I'm an idiot but it's too late. I wanted to upload yesterday and then I got asleep and things just happened so we're going to ignore the fact that I didn't upload but I'm actually probably, I don't know. I want to record in the morning and like same day upload and I probably can do that like same day upload within like a 24 hour period is that I probably won't be able to record in the mornings because my schedule for the mornings is all I like I'm not a morning person until okay I won't wake up that's the only part that I'm not a morning person of yeah this is no place for playing so I'm about to move this to probably recording at night or really early in the morning like I'm doing right now and maybe I will stream during the day or something, I don't know. I do want to get into streaming, but I want to stream on Twitch. I don't really like YouTube as a streaming platform. Like, it's my personal opinion. I just, that I don't really watch streams on YouTube. And there's only one person I watch on YouTube that does streams, and that's because they are exclusive to YouTube. And I've been following them for a while, so. And even that, like, I, I used to watch them almost all the time. I don't do it much now because I just don't like YouTube as a streaming platform. Something about it just doesn't feel right or something. Just, I don't know. Ooh, confusion. No. I actually did not know Knocked Out got confusion. I know he got psychic, but I didn't know he got confusion by level up. It might have been like a breed move, but. I didn't turn on my fan. You probably can heal that. A small puzzle would be like, oh. I better go get out of my closet and go turn that off. Oh, you have a forest store? Why do you have a forest store? But, um, I do want to do this, and I also do want to get do into every other. I do want to make this into every day. Let's play. Let me fix this. And every other day, I want to do showdown content. And I just don't know if that's gonna work or anything because I just don't know if I have the. I do have the time. I just don't know if I have that motivation to do that because if you guys don't know I'm severely lazy like like when I like editing is fun for me so I actually don't mind it um but the thumbnails is actually the reason why most videos don't get edited because I always edit the thumbnail when I'm in, like in the middle of like doing test renders and stuff it takes a while again I'm another Pokemon nope we defeated Alfred Alfred yep that's 4.4k dude that's a lot I love that well now, that we made- Ooh, you wanna trade phone numbers? I regret not trading phone numbers with only people in the game, but I don't think they give you anything special. But I'm gonna be giving out my number to everyone. I don't care if I get spam cards, robo cards, or anything. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I got commented on. Men of the Sea are always spoiling for a good fight. That my voice sounds like a little boy's, which is hilarious. Not on this channel. Not on my other channel. It's actually my sister that told me that. And I knew that. I don't like my voice, I, but I know a lot of people don't like the voice, so I actually, I don't want to say, like, I don't know where I was going with that, I don't want to say what, I don't want to say my voice will never, like, actually sound decent, or even like, not even decent, my voice never can sound decent probably, but it sounds like, my voice has not gotten older since I hit like 12 and just hilarious, it's hilarious. I know my voice in real life has probably changed, but the microphone just not picked that up that well, I guess. Actually, I really want to say that I have my voice hasn't changed because I do have old recordings and we got a super hit effective hit. Um can we switch out? No we can't because I have the battle style set on set. I have the battle style set on set. Yeah, that's a ward, that's the same. Part of the I can't switch out to Holy Cop. But, um, I did go back on one of my- Whoa. Hypnosis? Oh, no. This is gonna be one of these episodes. I was hoping this would be, like, a grinding episode. Just another filler episode. Filler. Back to back. What can you do about it? It's kind of a filler area of the game. Actually, there's a lot of filler in Pokemon. Especially in this game. But I feel like there's so much content that makes up for the filler. But the filler is not- It's filler, but it doesn't feel- Okay, it does kind of feel like filler. But it doesn't feel like filler. Like, I'd, I, I, I'm a person that would take pretty much any kind of okay content in a game. As long as it's okay. Like, the battle mission, I do like that, but it replaces the battle frontier, so I'm not okay with it. It's good enough. Like, if it's there with the battle frontier, which I believe that's a facility in the battle frontier. 
this is going to be an episode. I wouldn't mind it as much, but it, they removed the battle for Till and the PWT for it, so really can't say I like that. Brian use Magical Leaf. Oh yeah, I was going on about, um, I think it was my voice or my motivational things. I know I'm all over the place. Such I'm like, I'm not tired. I'm like half awake though. Sys 40p? I believe that's the resolution. Yeah, I think Sys 40p is what some games on Switch use. Okay, you, why does people back to back want to give my phone, oh, want to have my phone number? That seems stupid. Just want to find out. Why is, oh my goodness, my mom bought me something. Oh, I didn't go up the stupid ladder. Uh, are you gonna back, oh, of course. Of course she did. That looks like, um, that spot right there, you probably can't see, but it's like, one tile over to the left, and one tile down. It kind of looks like a spot where I step, it would probably break. What are you here? Just to stand it around and gawk? I suggest you leave. Oh well, this guy is very territorial. So, the board keeper Theo. He's a Pidgey. I understand why he's territorial now. Well, territorial, yeah. Yeah, well, let's not sack Holy Cop. Bingo! Oh, Brian is just really good for this area. But um, my, my motivation is that I can record if I don't get to do something because right now I've actually been stalling all day to record and everything because I just it oh my goodness I wish I had speed why did I go out to this why did I think this was a water type Pokemon I was lying about not being tired I'm obviously tired my brain's not functioning I'm sorry for that but um like I can once I start doing something I don't I'm not quote unquote lazy, but it takes me pretty much forcing myself to start something. And then I'll enjoy it. Unless, like right now, well, I actually really wanted to record. And that always happens at late at night. Like, when I'm like, get into like, kind of like a sleepy mood. I wouldn't say tired, but it was like, oh, I can go to bed now probably. Ooh, level 24. Any moves? Nope. Oh, I was hoping that was a level. You have five pigeons. Okay. Okay, I see. But, um, like right now, I actually came in and I wanted to record. I didn't have to record, but I just felt like recording. Like, when I actually get tired, I really, like, perform the best. Which is why I actually think I might go on, like, a shorter sleep schedule. Like, I can function at, like, really tired when I'm really tired. I actually probably function way better. There's a level 19 Pidgey. What is this guy doing? Lily, what is this guy doing? Stay secret up to level 22. Pidgey, another Pidgey? Yep. I'm gonna name this the Pidgey episode. No, I'm not. I actually don't know what name I'm gonna give this. My if you guys didn't see my last thumbnail, it was me sitting in the grass for Magic Up, and I did that on purpose because I was like, do I really want to edit a thumbnail? Like, for an episode that has nothing going about it. When I do stuff or lose Pokemon, it's kind of interesting, but if I didn't lose a Pokemon in that thumbnail or in that video, well, I would have no thumbnail and I would have to cut it out like I did earlier. Well, I just cut stuff together and everything. So I just don't like that. I am sorry for this. I am actually just being an idiot. I'm just gonna do that. You really are concerned. Oh, he's talking about the Pokemon. He thought it was just a toss. Can you please stop buying me stuff? Okay, I want to tell you a story when I played this game originally. This game? Yeah, it was this game, I believe. Um, I did not know you go through this. And I got stuck here for a while. I'm stupid. We're battling everyone here. I shouldn't have battled everyone here, but I hate this stuff. Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I intend to bring her back with me. Nobody better get in my way. She, she's okay. It's the Pokemon you have to worry about. Wow. Selfless. Self. Selfish. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking of the water. I was like, no, it starts with self. But I don't just, just don't know. But yeah, my motivation. If I start recording, or if... I just want to record, I will record. Because right now, I'm having fun. Quote unquote, fun. I'm having fun, I know. This is enjoyable for me. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. I want to be honest. Like, why would I play a game that I don't enjoy? That's stupid. And that's one of my biggest concerns with Sun and Shield is that I might not enjoy that. I didn't enjoy um, Sun and Moon that much. My original playthrough, so I pretty much quit Pokemon from them. I do think if I replayed Sun and Moon, I probably would have liked it better. 
I, I've said this in every episode that I have to play a game the second time through to get my full opinion. Please b stop buying me stuff, Swaggle. I did that for Swaggle. I actually did that for the money, because that's sellable. And that's money right though. Can I just... Oh my god, you can skip this guy. Too bad. I travel the ward to train my Pokemon. Now I battle with you, I think he says. Or said. Gentleman Preston. He has a growl. Ooh, a growl. Uh, no, I was like, we haven't seen one of those yet, but I caught one. But I don't think a trainer has had a Growlithe, Growlithe yet. Do you imagine if Holy Copper actually could evolve, like, right now? I'd actually have a Geodos. Why is it magic? Like, this is something, like, if Game Freak is so worried about, like... I'm gonna name one. I, I, I fell down my soul. If Pokemon, if Game Freak is so worried about Pokemon, like, becoming too big, why did they create Pokemon like Robofet? And why not? And all the baby Pokemon they added quote unquote lore. But personally, if it's too much for them to add to the game, I probably wouldn't I would have said that. They just not create those Pokemon. Like, that would lower the Pokemon that's about like 50 Pokemon probably. 50 to hundred actually. I wouldn't say that, I would say from 50 to yeah, I'd say actually 50 to hundred. And yeah, I'd accept that, but I think they actually realize when moving to 3D, they just don't want or don't have the motivation to support a franchise like this that can be so big. And I think back, I think um, after Generation 5, and they lost kind of a lot of motivation. I think, like, Generation before that, like, you could tell they tried the best. It might not have been a good game, I enjoyed but look at this. This is the game. Okay, people love this game. But look at this. This this is this is a view. This is on the DS. It's not a beautiful view, but for a DS game, this is pretty amazing. Now we look at. I would actually say it's a Y looks better than Sun Moon. I won't point that. But um, let's look at Sword and Shield and the Switch. From all what you say, from all what we've seen, is that for the Wild Area at least, it just doesn't look good. I think the towns and everything. Towns and everything. Towns and everything else so far has looked okay at best. There's some Trino test I don't like. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon else. She won't even smile these days. But there's some test Not the tree test I know everyone's going about that. But I think the Kyoto test When you go into, uh... Like one of those arena things. On the guys, um... On the trainer's... Right arm... And like the top of his arm, pretty much with like, I don't know what you call this, wow. Shorter? Shorter on arm area? There's like a little logo there, and that looks like a 3DS test. Now that's my biggest um, concern. Like for trees and everything, okay, it'd be nice if they look okay, but that's my concern. I know a lot of people don't bring that up, but... I, that actually, like, because you're looking at your trainer the entire time. If your trainers have pixelated um, stuff and it's not like, oh, this is an 8 bit Pokemon shot. Oh, oh, okay, I thought that was what I could see. I was like, okay, thank you. But it's just speed. We start speed. Krabby has 5 base speed. But you look at your trainer all the time. I think they should have put more effort into testers on the trainers at least. And I think that's so simple that they could fit pretty much easily. And I'm hoping they fit that in the final release. Because that's something I can understand not being good at. Like, optimizing a game and everything. But having a tester that looks that bad kind of iffy in my, in my opinion because that's just like one test or anything it's not like it's loading 300 test of the same model it's one test or maybe four test at most in a four player battle or like a double battle or multi battle there we go multi battle or if they bring back battle royales not battle royales what's it it's called War royale something wow i think it's battle royale actually no it's free no it's the Sun and Moon, oh, the Generation 7 battle gimmick that they added into one location no one ever used because it sucks so bad. My opinion. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. He's gonna send out a uh, Lugia, a uh, Ho-Ho, a Yveto. He's gonna somehow get a Yveto in Generation 4. He's gonna do that. Alright, oh, he just has a spell. That's good. Um, we're gonna go to Stacy's. I love how I don't give Jesus any more spell type, but Jesus is not really that good. He only has Gust. I feel like once he learns like Hurricane or anything, or maybe even just Return, I think he'd be 
really good, but Jesus used to be good, now he's just hitting in the level well. Until he gets a new move, he's pretty much useless, in my opinion. And I've ran moves that's like 50, 60, I think that's usable. We're running a 65 base move right now, and Stacy is just destroying everything. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Bold Keeper Dennis. Oh, he has a Pharaoh. Dude, that's actually really dope. He's gonna use Leo. Okay. But yeah, that's my biggest worry about Sancho, the trainer testers. And I was like, oh, the wider looks bad. The what? Actually, one of my other things I'm, I'm like annoyed about is that the Pokemon and Waddle just doesn't have to make a splat. They couldn't make a generic splat like effect when the Pokemon's in Waddle. I know that would have been lazy. Like it would actually probably draw more attention to it. But I think the way Pokemon end though, and just like it looks like I'm in Berlin right now, and I put like a floor, and then I'm like moving the thing up and down. With like moving it up and down it actually looks like that and that bothers me so much I noticed it in the original and I was like maybe that just uh, maybe I'm not watching high enough resolution because I used to watch all my trainer stuff in like 144p 360p never 200 or 240p I believe it's called I don't even know why that resolution exists that sucks it barely looks better than 144p in my opinion but it doesn't look better than or doesn't look as yeah, it just doesn't look one better than 144p by enough. And I'm a person that used to watch all my videos on 144p. Because of bandwidth or oh, slow internet. Oh, did we do the entire lighthouse? This might be an episode here. Oh, nope. We still have a little bit to go. So those are both kind and strong. How about you, I think he said. I just really want Sword and Shield to be a good game. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, Pokemon Sword and Shield won't be a good game. It has terrible graphics. It cut a lot of Pokemon from a Pokemon game, which is kind of ridiculous. And I agree fully. I think that's something that they should never have done. Um, they removed a lot of features. But I, I'm actually, like, I know I've seen this on Twitter a lot. It's like, how can you know this is a bad game? Or assuming it's a bad game until Game Freak proves otherwise. Because every generation they have removed something people have loved. Like, from last generation, the last game on Switch, and they removed Pokemon following you. So, this is annoying. Can I just... Awakening? Yeah, I can just Awakening, but if I have Awakening... I don't have Awakening. Do I have, like, any... No, I don't. Well, we'll have to wait this out. That's great. Um, they removed walk Pokemon following you. And... The... Uh, from Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee was just pretty much the only good thing about it, other than the Overworld encounters. I'm hoping they bring it back, but I don't think they will, because in some routes, there's not Pokemon in the Overworld, but... I don't know. I'm actually happy to play a, I'm actually kind of decided to play a mainline Pokemon game again, and I think that's the biggest issue, is that a lot of people might expect this game to be better than it is and I'm expecting it to be better as I'm really hoping that since they cut out Pokemon it might have cut out maybe like enough time to put in more like battle or post game features or even just quote unquote main game but they can be post game content like the battle or not the battle frontier that was post game actually yes yeah, post game in this game um can you not kill me actually I don't think that doesn't yeah that is enough they like Pokéathon, like putting in another Pokémon-thon with like 12 mini games. I would like enjoy that. Woke up. I'm hoping that camping thing that was pretty much leaked because the guy leaked a lot of other stuff. Um, it's true. Um, one of my biggest hopes is that they bring back Battle Frontier. I understand a lot of people say it won't be the same, but I, I really, I really hope that you put content in this game. I think if they put content in this game and make it an actual worthwhile like single game like if you if this was your first Pokemon game or you didn't care about the previous Pokemon games you don't care about future Pokemon games this is the only Pokemon game you want to play or have the opportunity to play or you're gonna turn on me oh you're, oh, you're not we found the super repel they need to add a lot of post um I don't think anyone I don't think th that person would be mad if there's a bunch of post game content I think people would be mad that in the next games, if they add all the Pokemon in, which they have a policy that they're not going to do, I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? Okay. I'll talk to this again. Um, 
but if they don't, um, if, if they had a lot of post game, people might be bad about the game. This game having more post game than the next game, or just more content than the next game, even if it cuts a lot of Pokemon. And I think the biggest issue is that if they're actually like truthful about, oh, we can go out to Jesus right now. We can go out to Myth, but Jesus is gonna be a good one to go out to. If the truth be about that they the the models and everything had to be remade from scratch or most or some of the models and it, and they actually have different animations and stuff and maybe they had to rewrite the code and they didn't have to do it in that scale. That's just we're not assuming that. But I like to assume that maybe that was the case. Maybe more development time from that could go on to making more content. And that's game that they can't put that content in, even though they probably have all the base stuff already done. Because it's the second game, they improve on engines usually on the same system. Like maybe the next game won't have enough content compared to this game. And if this game has enough content, people will be mad because this game has more content than most Pokemon games. And I just don't know what to say about that. Like I really hope this game has enough content because having more content in a game is never bad. But I think people will be triggered if this game actually does have more content than Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, and Sun and Moon combined. Um, more content than maybe if this game has more content than like Black Two, White Two, Black and White, Platinum, Hot Gold, So Silver, like has more content than like all the side stuff combined. People might be mad at that they're not going in all graphically and everything. They might be mad that they're removing Pokemon, but I don't think anyone can say Game Freak did not try to add content to this game. I know Pokemon are a sort of content and I think, and it kind of sucks that this is a policy. Like, if they said that this was not a policy and this is just only this game, but they added a lot more content in the game, people would be salty, of course, but... I don't think more people would be, like, worried that, oh, I'm gonna shiny hunt, and I'm not gonna be able to get this Pokemon. Or when I catch this Pokemon, I'm not gonna be able to transfer in the next generation. And I hate when people say, oh, you can use it in a game coming up. They didn't specify what game our next Pokemon might not might be in. Oh, we could we could switch out, but I'm not. I'm gonna let Jesus absorb the EXP. Like, we might go five games without seeing Stunfisk in a game. They confirm Maractus, so I can't really say Maractus anymore. But we might go five more games without seeing Stunfisk. We might go five games without seeing Skitty, Mudkip. We might go a lot of games without seeing those Pokemon that people love. Um, and the thing is that people, this is the first home console game, and it's not only the first home console game, it's the first HD home console game. And I know I got excited seeing my favorite Pokemon, and that's why, get transferred to 3D, and I got excited and let's go, I didn't buy the game. But I got excited seeing HD models of Eevee and the evolutions that they have in the game, and some generation 1 Pokemon. Like, I just got a size seeing HD models. I know they pretty much look the same as the 3DS and HD. But it just, seeing it officially just makes you happy. And I think seeing Mudkip, like, Mudkip is a Pokemon that I was really hoping I could, like, maybe use, do it like a solo run of Sword and Shield. Because I want to do that maybe live. If I ever hit, like, 25 subs, I might, like, do that as, like, a special or something and cut down to a highlight. Uh, let's talk... Oh wait, let me finish it. But I was really hoping to see Mudkip in HD in this game. Like, I really was hoping that. I really love Mudkip. Mudkip is one of my favorite starters, if not my favorite starter now. And they just, like, told me that I'm probably not going to see Mudkip in this game. I'm going to see another Charizard, Charmander, and Charmeleon in HD again. But... This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but suddenly it, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for ill. I understand that there was a wonderful pharmacy in Sinewood, but that's across the sea. And I can't leave Amphrey unattended. Open that. Thank you. Is she gonna ask me? May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Yep. Go do that in the next episode. This one was more of a filler, and the next episode is definitely gonna be fill. Oh my goodness. An episode of filler. Actually, we might take on some of the gym in the next episode. And a lot of people might be. Like, I know people are calling people entitled, entitled, but there's an entitlement and expecting something from a game, um, a game company that's done all the time. It'd be like pretty much removing 
platform, not platform, I would say, I'd say removing, yeah, platforming from, like, a Mario game. You have had Bonk Ball. It's not that extreme as it stores the base Pokemon game, but I think Pokemon are that important to a Pokemon game is that it's pretty much equivalent to making Mario a shooting game with some platforming elements, like a first person shooter, even a third person shooter. Also, that I thought my game crashed. Actually, I know that someone gives you something up here, right? Oh, this guy gives us the ball moves, I think, or the little customizing Pokeballs, I think. It's supposed to give me a lot of seals. He'll have some, huh? You don't have a circuit? It's gonna give you some seals. How do I guess? <laughs> when she gets in trouble, her daddy scales off. On the way to Cyanwood, the Cyanwood, the four desert island bad kids are taken to. Oh my goodness, someone's scary. Don't talk about the scary islands. But yeah, to be equivalent, pretty much to that. This guy goes. This oh no, I think this guy traces. I'm looking for the bomb. If you have a crab, you would trade for my four top. No. You don't have one either? Gee, that's really disappointing. It is really disappointing, in my opinion, that I don't have a king, a crabby to give you. But it's an entitlement if you... Uh, it's an entitlement that it's pretty much a serious staple and re being removed from the game. It'd be like having a Mario game, but removing Mario. And just keeping all the enemies the same. And just calling it a Mario game. Not even calling it, like... I guess Mario did do that. Super Mario Land 3. Um, Wilds Wood. I guess that was a thing, but... I still think it, it's just something stupid and not really entitlement to expect that. And I think what's entitlement is expecting new animations for all this Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so you can expect that and hope for that. But I I really... If they come out and say that they're going to add all these Pokemon in and home, I'm fully expecting these to be bad animated. Like, quickly done. Like, if I animated something, I probably could do it better. But I really don't care. I just want all the Pokemon in a Pokemon game. Um, I still don't think it's a time to expect a multi-billion or the most profitable franchise in the world to produce a game that's on the level of Smash, which has a lot of animations and models and stuff to do. But, and it's not in that advance, in my opinion, compared to Smash. The Pokemon really don't have to have, like, specific animations, like... Charles' flamethrower doesn't match up with his mouth and when he dynamaxes, and probably in regular form. Well, that's not that high quality, but it's still an animation for that Pokemon. That's what I probably expect. But I've probably ran about too much about this. I just want to make this in quote unquote entertaining, something people can watch if they want to video. But if you guys did enjoy this, you can press that like button, press the subscribe button if you really enjoyed this episode. I'll probably be marking it in this video. Um, on Twitter, I usually, I mark up videos that's not a Let's Play on my Twitter, but I'll be doing that. If you have a Twitter and you want to follow me, and if you do that, I might actually use Twitter. I don't have any real followers, though, from people I like the comments from on Twitter. Um, comment down below what you think of, um, do you, what do you, do you think it's entitlement for people to expect other Pokemon in the Pokemon game to appeal? And if you don't, uh, and depending on your answer, if you say no, do you expect them to have all updated, quote unquote, higher quality animations? Or would you be fine with regular animations? Or like, no animations? Would you just like having an idle animation with like, the Pokemon going forward when attacking? I know it wouldn't look the cleanest, but I had to set that just to have all Pokemon. Now I understand that it's, it's the most profitable thing in the, it's the most popular franchise in the entire world, and it should have a higher quality standard. I understand that, but that's not what we live in. We don't live in that kind of world where it's happening. We have to accept what's happening right now. Don't like, and I'm not saying don't go comment on the Pokemon Twitter a lot. I just think that it's happening. We don't have to like it. We have to accept it, or we can go for change. And that's what a lot of people are doing by doing the hashtag natural, bring back natural debts. I love how I'm sitting in this thing and I'll probably be doing stuff, but. Yeah, I just want to talk, I just want to finish that, that I don't think it's entitlement, but I do think it's some slight t entitlement to spend brand new animations. I think 3DS ported animations for Pokemon is what to be expected, and if that doesn't happen, I think they should make a concrete generic animation for all Pokemon, and even if it looks kind of janky, I would accept that, like for the 
form on the model. So like all the character Pokemon would have like the same animation that's not in the game. I'm rambling around. And since they're adding probably like 400 Pokemon, there's probably an animation for each and every Pokemon that's not in the Galar... The, for every Pokemon that's not in the Galar Dets, in my opinion. That would fit in the base form, in my opinion. Like, Murray could use Rulu's animation, but I'm, I'm rambling. This is probably going to be a 34 minute video, but I hope not. Or if it is, I hope people enjoy it. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.